Hey, it's Michael here from EduKids. Recently, we released a new version of CodeKit, CodeKit 4. And this new version brought a whole bunch of exciting new features and improvements to the app. Today, I'm gonna to be focusing specifically on the new features we have for our CodeKit Pro subscribers. So let's get started. I'm going to head over to the CodeKit web app, which as always is at edukits.co forward slash code. And the first thing you'll notice is that we have a new sidebar over here. Now I'm gonna click sign in so that we can activate our CodeKit Pro features. So you'll notice that the sign in button is gone. We've now got the account button, which means we're all good to go. And one of the things you'll see is that there is now a link and upload button up the very top of the app. And these allow you to upload code directly to your Arduino board from the web browser. With CodeKit Desktop, which is our standalone desktop application available for Pro customers, there's always been the option to upload code directly to the board, but that required a download to the computer and that's you know another app to install. However, with CodeKit Pro now, you can press the link button which lets us connect to the board, as you can see here. And now we have this upload button, which we can press. You'll see it uh, has a little loader for a few seconds, and then we have upload successful. Now, even though there's no code here and there's an empty project, this will, this will basically work for anything. So I've just loaded a Blink example project. Our board's still linked, so I can upload. And there we go, the upload's been successful. Now that you can upload code directly to the board, uh, you don't actually have to install the desktop application if you're going to work online. This could be a really convenient option. And especially with this next feature I'm going to show you, it can really allow you to kind of work anywhere with your projects and take them anywhere. So we have this new projects tab, which is with CodeKit Cloud. So before you used to have to save projects to your computer and then go to your file system and like, drag and drop them back in and kind of figure out where you save them in order to open the old projects. And now with CodeKit Pro, you can just have all of your projects together in the cloud when you want them on whatever device. So you can see I've got quite a few projects here. Let's just click on, what's a fun one? We can click on Wakey Wakey, which is basically a, a light sensitive alarm. And you can see that now we have a special project URL. And this brings us to our third new feature for CodeKit Pro subscribers. Every CodeKit Cloud project has a special URL. If you copy that URL, uh, you can basically share your code with anyone, even if they don't have a subscription to CodeKit. This can be useful if you're a teacher trying to teach a class, you can give some example code to your students as a starting point for their projects. And the way it works is you just copy the URL and I'll quickly open a guest tab for us here. I can paste it in and because we're in a guest tab, we aren't signed into CodeKit, but you'll notice that uh, despite that, we still have all the code here. We have that wakey wakey project, all the blocks are there. And that kind of shows you the power of, um, of CodeKit Cloud and, and sharing your projects. So these are just three of the new features we've brought with CodeKit 4 for our pro subscribers. Obviously our pro subscribers get heaps more um, in addition to the web app, they get the desktop app. And with that brings offline support, uploading code, and of course they get priority support. If you're interested in becoming a pro subscriber with CodeKit, head to our website, edukids.co, and take a look at some of our subscription options to see if one's right for you.